A South San Antonio ISD school district trustee escorted out of the meeting by a campus police officer last night. Trustees were set to vote on closing West Campus High School, one step towards avoiding a financial crisis. Our Camelia Juarez spoke to board members who left the meeting breaking quorum, so no vote could take place last night. Mr. Flores, I'm sorry, but the only one being disruptive here is you. Trustee Manuel Lopez was escorted out by district police during last night's board meeting shortly after his microphone was cut off. Felt like yesterday was just like a circus, you know, of a meeting. Shirley Ibarra was one of the trustees that left the meeting. It felt like he was going overboard with his authority and not letting, you know, my fellow trustees speak. Last night was the third special meeting this year where trustees were set to vote on closing schools. So far, two elementary schools, Athens and Kindred, along with Kazan Middle School, are set to close in an effort to reduce the district's $12 million debt. Consideration to close West Campus was the only item on the agenda last night. Sir, we're gonna, I'm going to ask you to stop right there. Or you can throw me out. But Board President Manuel Flores would not extend the amount of time trustees could speak. Your, three minute, your minutes are up, sir. My minutes are not up. Go ahead and turn off the mic. Please. Yeah. It went above and beyond and went into bullying tactics, and, and uh, that is not what we're supposed to be doing as board members. If West Campus is kept open, the board must also consider whether to complete millions of dollars in renovations to the campus. It's going to cost us another up to $5 million to finish the renovations if we're going to keep it open. The board is currently under investigation by the Texas Education Agency for dysfunction in the past. We reached out to the TEA and they declined to comment. The next board meeting has not yet been set. Camelia Juarez, KSAT 12 News. And it wasn't just the TEA. We actually sent an email to the TEA agent monitoring South San ISD and reached out to the superintendent, the board president through the communications department of the school district. We don't have a response yet. Still waiting.